Flow like water, flow like water, flow like water, flow like water, flow like water. Welcome to the DYCD at Home Filmmaking Series. My name is Trayshawn Watkins. I'm a grade student in Queens, New York. And today we're here with Bio Lane Etienne to talk about music videos. What is a producer? You're sort of the person that makes it happen. You know, you put together the team, you find the money, and to make sure there is excellent communication between the artist and the director. So your role as a producer is to make sure that all the, all the different parts and all the different people connect. You produce some of the most iconic music videos. How did you start to like pursue music related video producing? I became a production coordinator, then a production manager, and then a producer. I was doing it, you know, side by side with directors that were in that company. So they got to know me and they got to trust me and we in some ways got to um, grow together. So ultimately, um, the sort of natural evolution was to have me produce these music videos. Do you remember like the first music video that you ever produced? Um, it was a music video for director Stefan Sednawi. Um, and it was for the for two artists that had a, a single together. It was Nene Cherry and Yusu Endor. And to this day, it's a video that I love, that I sometimes refer to when we think about sort of create, creative inspiration. In the pre-production phase, how did you land on a concept with the artist? We get the brief, we get the lyrics, we get the director and the artist together. They start sort of brainstorming and spitballing on an idea. Then the director goes back and starts writing. And usually that's where the director and the producer work very closely together, developing um, you know, a concept and budgeting it at the same time. You can't let your director write an idea that's gonna cost a million dollars if you have a hundred thousand dollars. Are rehearsals important um, since music videos are also kind of scripted? So it really depends on the concept. Some music videos don't need rehearsals. If there is big choreography, yes. What happens is you, the artist will rehearse on a, on a rehearsal studio um, and depending on the type of choreography it's you know and how many dancers you know it can be one day or it can be multiple days and then the other time would be if you have stunts some some artists like to do their own stunts or as much as they can of them and in that case you want to rehearse it like what's a video where you had to do a long period of rehearsal uh usually working with beyonce um <laughs> she She's extremely prepared. In some of the videos that we did with her, she had sort of big dance numbers. So um, there was quite a bit of prep. And then there's a video that we did um, that was shot underwater. You know, it's very difficult to, to shoot in these conditions. And she had to train for that because she was underwater for quite a long time. But it was complicated, you know, to put an artist underwater to shoot it underwater you end up with bubbles the images you know like you have all these technical issues that you have to think about right like you're like how is she going to stay down in the water like how, how do we make it safe for her and then when you feel you're filming you know how do you get rid of all these bubbles it was sort of it became a post-production nightmare how do you control the lighting we had a bit of a cg set that we were adding into the the film it's almost like the water was plates um and it, it was tricky to make it work in the end we did but we sweated a little bit on that one <laughs> besides working with beyonce what was another artist that did something that was in the music video that was very extreme that they had to train for i would say lady gaga is someone that we had to you know she, she's done a bunch of rehearsals as well we did a music video where she has to, she falls off a balcony uh, and she lands. So we obviously had big crash pads. It was a stunt, right? And we were equipped for it, but she had to sort of prepare for that because on music videos, we don't have many days to shoot. So that's also why for these situations, rehearsals are important. 
Who is one artist that you would like to work with? Kendrick Lamar is the one male artist that I really want to work with. Still haven't worked with him and would love to work with him. I think he's a he's a poet and I, an incredible artist. So I, I can't wait for the day that happens. What advice would you give to students aspiring to work specifically on films with emphasis on music? Just work hard. Don't be scared to ask questions. Be kind, you know, be helpful. I really notice the kids that come and are like hustling. Like they're like, I know they're passionate. They're asking, they're like, what else can I do? And they go sort of above and beyond and you're going to give them more stuff to do because it helps you. You know, and oftentimes they have great ideas when they're not scared to contribute them. And and most importantly, like if you're an artist, filmmaker, like don't be scared to share your ideas and be fearless. Like don't let people tell you what to do. Just, you know, just believe in your own ideas. Don't be scared of your individuality, of what you have to say you know, of what you believe in, of your taste. What is a great music video or feature length um, music that film aspiring students should watch? So I, I think Beyonce Lemonade that you, you know, obviously talked about already is, is, is a really good example of like what's happening now in our industry and how um, the audiovisual world is not segmented like it used to be. You know, music videos and films are so interconnected. But even like going back to sort of like the history of music videos, like to me, Spike Jones, like a lot of Spike Jones' work is really innovative and, and interesting in the way he works with movement and humor and sometimes real people and quirky sort of situations that are very unexpected. Uh, Pharrell Happy was really interesting. He worked with this combination of his performances with a call out of, you know, real people sort of dancing on his own song. Well, thank you for coming and joining us. And I hope enjoy the rest of your evening.